what is up Bray Gang, it's your boy back at it again with another banger. Uh, as you guys can see, we got a nice little uh, video, five things you don't say to Germans, from this page named uh, Wanted Adventure. Obviously, this is kind of, it's raising my eyebrows for me a little bit for two reasons. Um, one, I have never heard this person before. Um, and two, it looks like this video has 36,000 likes, which is good, but then 17,000 dislikes, which means something that was said in this video got under somebody's skin. So we gotta go ahead and check this thing out and see exactly what that was. Okay, so if you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Uh, we're getting into this whole German thing thing because your boy might be moving to Germany sooner than he thinks sooner than he knows um i might be out there in the next year and a half two years but what i'm trying to do is kind of embrace the culture learn some uh i guess learn the language kind of learn how to how to maneuver over there it can't be too 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 different than america i'm pretty sure it's similar in a lot of ways but it's different in some and in the ways that it's different i kind of want to like you know really fully understand that and see exactly what i can do to fit in you know so uh like i said like comment and subscribe turn on your post notifications and let's see exactly what we're working with man let's even go from there I've learned a few things that you shouldn't say to germans mm. unless you're trying to annoy them bro she already has the voice that makes me want to bash my face into a fucking building bro that enthusiasm it's early in the morning for me bro y'all you have to pipe that shit down <laughs> i'm just kidding go ahead and why would you want to do that you wouldn't of course so here they are. What not to say to Germans. Mm. Hey everyone, I'm Donna and you're Donna and Donna Newman. Watching Wanted Adventure Living Abroad. Later Hosen. Anything like, where's your later Hosen? Or all Germans wear later Hosen, don't they? What the fuck is later Hosen, bruh? I'm pretty sure she's about to explain that, but what the fuck is later hosen? And do people really get butt hurt when you ask them that? Or later hosen. It's the national outfit of Germany, right? Hmm. Is off limits. As I explained in this video, yes, some Germans do wear later hosen and dirndls, especially in the state of B The fuck are dirndls, man? What the fuck are these? Area, but definitely not all Germans and people who live in other areas of Germany sometimes find it really annoying when visitors or people who have never been to Germany just think that all Germans everywhere wear these outfits. Light beer. What the fuck is Lederhosen, bro? I don't even know what the fuck that is. I mean, I guess, I guess she kind of, maybe she did kind of explain it a little bit. It seems like a national traditional outfit. Thing, but that's like somebody asking us if we wear revolutionary war clothes over here when we really don't I don't think it would be an, it might be slightly annoying but it's not like the end of all times you know let me know just let me know in the comments down below what, like what that even is like if that would even be annoying or if, they, if that's even a conversation that's brought up at all in Germany from tourists and stuff like that because I don't even know what the fuck later hosen is bro <laughs> If you're at a bar in Germany and you're looking for a drink with a little less calories in it, asking for a light beer or asking which of the German beers are light is going to get you one of two responses. I can guarantee you what response you'll get if you ask for a light beer around me and you are a male? That's some beta ass shit, bro. That's a beta male move, man. You don't want to be asking for light beer around a bunch of dudes. I know it's a new, it's a, you know, 2019 is a new year and blah, 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 but you don't have to miss me with that bullshit. <laughs> Either the bartender will hand you a Hellas, which is a pale lager beer and not at all particularly light in calories, mm. but Hellas literally translates into light or the bartender will know what you mean and just give you a little sneer or roll their eyes at you. I've seen it happen. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Germans yeah. are disgusted by Americans watering down their beer for a light version. <laughs> Bro, I'm disgusted. I'm disgusted. Watering down your beer for a, why would you want a light beer? If you're gonna drink a beer, you better drink the beer the right way. Especially if you're in Germany. Come on, man. 
I'm popping people upside their heads if they do some stupid shit like that. Come on, man. They have no problem, however, watering down their wine. So, my tip for you, if you want a lighter drink, maybe go for a vine chorelet, red or white, which is wine mixed with sparkling water. Excuse me? <laughs> Wine mixed with sparkling, that's like the ultimate bitch move. Don't do that shit. Literally, just if you're a girl doing it, then that makes sense. That's one thing. But if you're a guy, you better fucking not, bro. Just don't drink. You better just not to drink, bro. Come on, man. David Hasselhoff. Fuck. It's flying on the wings of tenderness. You want me to turn it up? Why would you do that? So I've heard of David Hasselhoff, but I'll be honest. I have no idea what the man's done. Maybe that's a crime. But I honestly don't even know what the fuck the dude's done at all. So... Fuck. Because it's David Hasselhoff. David, David Hasselhoff. who? David Hasselhoff. Don't tell me you don't know who David Hasselhoff is. Doesn't everyone in Germany just love David Hasselhoff? No, they don't. Not everyone. He had one song in 1989, Looking for Freedom, that with the fall of the Berlin Wall really resonated with the time and the feeling in Germany. But mm. that's it. The that's... Relationship goes no deeper than that. So, so honestly, I'm pretty sure that's all just to say that, like, I'm, just like myself, I didn't, I don't really fucking know who David Hasselhoff is, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people in Germany don't really fucking know that well who David Hasselhoff is. Interesting video, but mm, no, I don't know. not all Germans love David Hasselhoff, let alone even know who he is. Sorry, David. White asparagus. Stefan, I just came from downtown and I'm telling you, they're all over the place. These, everywhere, every fruit and veggie kiosk, there's these vegetables that look like huge. What are you cooking? Spargel, of course. Spargel, 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 of course. That's crazy. That's what you call them, spargels. That's tight, man. Uh, but I will tell you what that looked like. <laughs> I know, bro, that, that looked a little... You know, it, that's basically the equivalent of like our eggplant emoji, bro. It looks like a white eggplant. As I mentioned in a whole video just dedicated to Spargel, Germans go absolutely bonkers over their white asparagus. You go to bed one night in April and wake up the next morning, poof, the city is covered in these white stocks. Really, Damn. every fruit and veggie kiosk, every store, it's incorporated into every meal imaginable at the restaurants. Spargel takes over the place. Spargel, 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 bruh. Let me know um, if this is accurate information. Like I said, the whole point of me like even checking this out is to verify the accuracy of this shit because there are 17,000 damn dislikes. I need to understand why. <laughs> I need to so why. what should you not say to Germans here? From my experience, pretty much anything bad or making fun of their beloved Spargel. Not because it really upsets them so much, but just more because they don't seem to really get the joke or find it. So basically, I guess it's like if Germans were to joke in German here and we just didn't get the joke it'd be like oh ha, ha. i think but you know here like we would probably laugh and shit like that but i don't know i i just want to know if this is even accurate you know because i'm pretty sure like th that that is low-key funny i feel like <laughs> a spargo looks like you know you know what it looked like bro like you guys can't tell me y'all don't know what that looks like you probably heard it a billion times that's just funny as fuck y'all should make like a spargo emoji you know, they should have an eggplant emoji and a spargle emoji. Like, you could switch between the two when you're, like, you know, sending, like, those those booty call texts and stuff. Bruh, like, that's funny as hell. All amusing. My American friends get it. They're like, yeah, that's the most phallic-looking veggie I've ever seen. Forget mm -hmm. about the eggplant emoji. Somebody needs to make some See? code for a spargle emoji. But saying. Germans seem to take their spargle quite seriously. And whenever I've poked fun at it, they often just kind of stare I back. I feel like when she pokes fun at stuff, it's not funny, period. Like, it looks too exaggerated. I, I don't think I would laugh, to be honest. 
So that it's probably not what she's talking about. It's probably just her. <laughs> it me. And then eventually follow up my comment with something serious and real about how delicious it tastes slathered in butter. Eurovision versus the World Cup. Back in 2010, I was in Germany for my very first Eurovision song contest. And one of Mr. German Man's friends was even having a party for it. Now, this was my first time ever hearing about the contest. And at the party, people got dressed up in funny costumes. And there were a lot of people at the party. So it seemed to me like it must be a pretty big deal. I had been to Super Bowl parties in the U.S. that had... Mm, oh, no, man. She got, she got this talking about this whole Eurovision and World Cup thing. I feel like the World Cup is already a sensitive topic, you know? It is a sensitive topic for every country that I know, especially outside of the U.S. for sure. Um, and Eurovision, I was just informed about that this year uh, as I was reacting to a lot of Serbian stuff and whatnot. And then, like, I had, like, a lot of my Serbian friends tell me about Eurovision. So that's a pretty big fucking deal. Less enthusiasm. So, cool. yeah. I thought this must be something that's important to Germans. Right. And it was a big year because 2010 is when Germany's own Lena won the Eurovision Song Contest singing Satellite. Yay! Congratulations, Germany! Okay, now fast forward a few months later. 2010 was also the year the World Cup took place in South Africa, and Germany made it really, really far only to lose right toward the end so they didn't actually make it to the final game. Well, after that loss, the next day I had an English class to teach, and my students were all really bummed out because Germany had gotten kicked out of the World Cup. Okay. So to try to cheer them up, I said, well, I mean, Germany won the Eurovision Song Contest this year, so it just wouldn't be fair if they also won the World Cup. What the fuck? Is she dumb? Is she dumb, bruh? Like, what the fuck? That makes no sense. Eurovision and the World Cup are two completely different things. That's so stupid. That's like saying, um, hmm, you know America's Got Talent? That's like saying, oh, well, this person won America's Got Talent, so... I don't see why you're super like why the Seahawks needed to win the Super Bowl. Take your hand and smack yourself. Cause that shit is dumb, bro. Like, come on, man. that's where the seventeen thousand dislikes came from. I can see exactly where that shit came from. I'd be mad too. Shit. Like, you can only have one big win per year. You know, let some other country win the World Cup. Nah, you fucked up. You literally ruined your whole video, champ. I could tell right there, that's where the 17K dislikes came from, right there. Nothing else. I feel like it's this one thing right here, bro. That's sensitive, G. After you oh, already God. won the Eurovision Song Contest. Yeah, apparently those two things are not comparable. They're so my question not. for you is, have you ever found yourself saying any of these and things in Germany? we're done. So that's pretty much the end of that video. I'm pretty sure she en ended the video after she said it that shit. If she has anything else to say, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be very, very uh, thoughtful, I should say. Anyways, let me know how accurate all this is. I know for a fact that last thing is where she got her dislikes from. And I'm like, that's weird, bro. I'm, a, I'm an American dude, and I know that shit. Like, Eurovision... And the World Cup are a hundred percent completely different. You can't just because you win one, you know, you win Eurovision, right? Doesn't mean you can't win the World Cup because they're different. One, you train your vocal cords. <laughs> the other one, you train your body. <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> that makes no sense, man. It makes absolutely no sense. So, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications. Let me know what the heck's going on, and um, we'll go from there. Uh, but. Just let me know if this was even worth watching for you guys or if this was accurate because you know me i'm just trying to see uh get a good feel for germany and i don't want to like ingest the wrong information so inform your boy in the comments down below and well, uh, we'll we'll get into more of these videos and see how accurate the information is but thank you guys so much for watching and until the next time i see you guys again take care peace